Welcome back to another Bannerlord video. If you're new to the channel, what I do is I just play modded content and Bannerlord has mostly taken over. And so in this series, what I got going on is close to 100 mods and what I've done is I've basically turned me and my companions into enchanted max attribute characters who are more like Diablo Diablo 2 type characters and then I overhauled the the whole troop tree to resemble something a little more like Warhammer or Age of Empires where we actually have different eras rather than just the medieval era troops will start out as peasant or tribal and then they they upgrade through the ages and they start acquiring armor and muskets and mages so it's all just a fantasy overhaul it's still banner lord but with with uh, superpowers muskets and mages and legendary characters and all this like mythology kind of woven into it So my fellowship is actually um, uh, mostly historical characters, right? But it's in a fantasy settings. Basically, it, the gear is capped around 1800s, where we do ha we do have guys like George Washington and Chief Crazy Horse, Napoleon. So there's a lot of characters from like the musket era. That's the most advanced gun we got to are like flintlock rifles and muskets. There's no repeaters or revolvers. So anyway, let's get this set up here. I've done this defense a couple times, so I don't necessarily like this castle. But what I do is I put my infantry by the stairs, have them ready, and then I put my archers in the courtyards so they can pick shots. Um, they can pick off the guys who, who are climbing on the walls. And the reason I don't put too many guys on the walls is because with muskets and fire arrows and mages and all this stuff, it can... Putting care... Putting your guys like in big clusters where they can be hit is pretty dangerous. So in this playthrough, like we got to use cover a lot more. Projectiles are a little more dangerous. And the the battlefields look just bad. Explosions and smoke trails everywhere. There's our newest companion, uh, Conan the Barbarian just joined us last episode I realized what I can do is actually create the companion or edit the companion before I recruit them so I can actually like cinematically go uh, find them rather than just um, creating them through the menu so I got a thousand troops on the field right now so it's uh, gonna be a touch a touch laggy but I made a video recently sharing my settings and how I how I get this many uh, mods working. If you're all are interested in that or if you think my game is running smooth. I'm not on the best computer. I, I, I think I'm on a RTX 3060. Well, it's, I mean, it's a decent computer, but it's not, it's not among the best. So basically with these, with all these mods, well there's Conan, I'm just going to block these guys. With all these mods, open battlefields are completely different. High tier and low tier troops are completely reworked to the point where it's not even a close match. 
And not only is there high tier troops, but there's legendaries who can basically withstand hundreds of hits from peasants. What I've done is I've turned damage way down on this game, on everything, and added in a few other factors that make the battles last longer. But some of these troops have such high damage weapons that um, they can still get you in one hit. So it's almost like there's a lot of the soldiers are just fodder, which means they're just like uh, spare parts left on the field. But once in a while you run into like a boss or a, that's what I call them, but you get like a boss battle or a legendary battle. Once in a while these guys will pull up with um, with an entire what would I call it? They'll pull up with uh, an entire group like that of legendary characters. That's when you're in some trouble. They start taking down your shitty wall. I gotta create a new club here at the Smith because mine, I created the shorter one for speed. I don't really like it. It's too fast and it's not enough reach. These are the Batanians, but they got a mix of the Empire, Batania, what else did I see there? A little bit of Valandia. But well, Batania has been reworked to uh, basically Lord of the Rings. There's one of their wizards. They wear Gondor Gondorian chain and plate mail. They got some like Rohirian riders and elves. And basically what I did was I made elf, dwarf, and man hybrids. Sometimes they're man dwarf, sometimes they're... Oh, that was a quick one. Sometimes they're um, elf dwarf hybrids. And I did that because we can't have... I can't actually make dwarfs. So what I did was I just put pointed ears on dwarf looking characters so we got these overgrown dwarves so anyway that one's a unique tree and they're pretty strong this is my first battle with them I believe they're the most mystical bunch of the group they got a lot all their mounts are unique so they they got um you know moose and stags unicorns rhinos Stuff like that, and they got a lot of enchanted weapons and mages. So they, they're the only ones with an entire branch for wizards in the main tree. A lot of the other teams have kind of the unique, the unique troops are mages, so you don't see as many of them. But this defense here, I mean, I, I there's no real strategy here. It's just. Like I mentioned, stay off the wall. And try to uh, put duct tape on any leaks. Anybody uh, starts breaching the walls, we just put some duct tape on it. And <laughs> we'll, we'll send a, a group of troops there to defend. But I just take, I just use these automatic troops here that run to the wall. That's good enough. Enough of them will have enchanted bows and uh, muskets. So if you like the looks of this game and you want to play, I definitely can help you get started. Just comment where you're having trouble. All the mods are in the description. Let's get a look at these troops. Look at this. It's pretty cool. Very Celtic looking. I believe, yeah, these are some of the uh, the Midgard troops, I call them, but they're basically Lord of the Rings inspired. But they also have a, you know, other inspiration. They have Celtic type warriors, and 
So I kind of I took inspiration from historical fantasy other video games and just kind of mixed everything into one one big playthrough. What I was going to do was one historical, one fantasy, but I just ended up throwing everything at one playthrough. I'm just not so sure that I have the time to uh, set two of them up. So what I'm doing is I'm just playing this one until it bombs on me and then I'm going to start a new one. And what I might do is actually show people how to start their own, how to pick a version and find mods. I might not be the best at video games, but I do know how how to stack mods. I seem to have an obsession when something doesn't work. I um, I keep troubleshooting till till there's no more options or I get it working. So all the games I play on always have max amount of mods. So this looks pretty easy, but I'll tell you if when when you run into other superpowers on the field or especially in the open they could devour you pretty quick like i've been i've been wiped off the map within minutes in an open field battle against the valandians they were they were one of the more richer civilizations and they kept showing up with um, armies of legendary troops not just a few legendaries like armies of them and we got caught in the open field and we were, we were lit up in, in moments because when they have meteor arrows themselves and you have a shield wall or a pike square they basically kill and injure everybody in one shot So the game has changed a little bit. You gotta use more pike and shot formations. There's a little bit more of the the modern warfare because the projectiles are different, more dangerous, but but it's got this fantasy Diablo 2 type atmosphere to it. All the all the mods are in the description and what I what I'm doing is playing on an older version. Another easy battle. I'm playing on an older version, that way I don't have to deal with mods and basically what I did was I started with with a particular mod that worked on this version, then I just kept adding and adding and adding. So this one's on 1.03. All the mods are in the description as well as the variation. What I was going to do was share my save game here on New Nexus, but it was a little too complicated. For anyone to play this, they would basically need all the same mods. But I would like to help you get your own started. If you have any questions, just hit me up. Maybe one day I'll, I'll make a video if there's anybody who wants to do this. I find most people want to play on the newer version though. Not gonna lie, I think we were on 1.65 or whatever. That was on console. Then I moved to PC and then started playing on this version. And when I first started, it was odd looking. Not gonna lie, it was a little weird getting used to some of the changes. But, uh,. It doesn't take long for it to seem like normal Bannerlord. And it's really not much different. There's a couple of things that you lose. There's an elf with a big booty. You got some more Midgard and Empire troops. Maybe some Azurai in there. Oof, somebody just... Oh! Nice hit, my lady. That was fair maiden, just knocked me on my ass. Somebody just destroyed a bunch of our troops.
That's one I like leaving the castle and cleaning up the garbage sometimes, but my own troops end up lighting us up. That's also an issue is having mages on your own team. Uh, explosions don't always have friendly fire off, so you can lose some troops. You know, throwing bombs. <laughs> How nice hit. It actually landed. Would have I would have actually liked to see the damage on that one. With that knockdown, it really changes the battle. See how I was able to like shield bash him, knock him down, then stab him. Enemies all have a knock him down ratio. Like basically, I'll whatever I give my team, I give to the enemies. As far as um, different battle factors, heal on kill, fire sword. Those are things the enemies have as well. So most videos I'm going to leave no commentary, but I'm going to jump on and do some explaining now and then because, you know, some people don't want to don't want to hear yakking all the time, but but I do have to kind of explain what's going on, I feel with with certain things, some tactics, mods some videos though I'm just gonna leave no mic just so we can you know just watch the, the storyline some people might prefer just uh, no mic so at this point I'm not really sure nobody's really let me know so if you prefer one or the other just hit me up let me know what you want to see One thing I noticed on my playthrough is uh, the the troops don't always surrender. They sometimes linger till the very end. Gotta clean up all the garbage. I'm trying to cheer in their face. <laughs> A lot of inspiration for this game is actually Hercules and Xena. That was a big show when I was a kid. But that's kind of where I get the idea with the, you know, mixing the demigods and the inaccurate armors. And mixing kind of all the mythologies into a storyline. Too small of a battle to really check the scoreboard. I always let the women go just in case I need a wife later. <laughs> Build the relationship early. All these other guys can be sold. That's what they get for attacking my property. Ooh. 
over the limit, that's okay because I'm out of castle. I can just go right to the tavern and sell them. If y'all have any suggestions for troops or companions or even enemies that I can create, let me know in the comments. You might have to kind of get to know my fellowship before you know who's here and who's missing. The next two on the list are uh, Theseus and his uh, bow and uh, Thor. But I'm going to make Thor sort of like Hercules, more of a demigod type person, not a not a full god like the Marvel Thor or the, the regular mythology. What I'm going to do is just make a demigod Viking type character. To join Hercules and Conan. Actually, one more on the list is the Leper King. having a hell of a time getting started because every time we get things going thousands and thousands of troops attack us all at once and I'm always at war with like three cultures as soon as I end one war another one pops up which is sort of what I wanted to do but I wouldn't mind like getting my own land figured out here but basically every time I start filling up a keep, it ends up getting taken from me. Same thing for my companions. Or not bandits, uh, prisoners. I usually get rid of them all and then I'll cherry pick a few that I like. One mistake I made was putting capes on anybody. Not, I think capes are just not. They're not used in battlefield. Maybe in town. Maybe a king would wear it for show, but as far as fighting, there's no way you're gonna wrap something around your neck and then trip over it. Get off my land! Come here! been a while. He's got a couple of Nazgul. A couple of Empire Ghouls. They got a mix of armor. You see there's some held ring. They got some Roman shoulder pads with some vampire gauntlets. I think those guys are mages too. Not only are they tanks, um, they got enchanted weapons, but they're mages too. see those um those are water arrows there I think Link is the only one on my team with water arrows you elves shitload of uh, cavalry and mounted uh, archers and things on the on the new battalion team All the teams are kind of different. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses. Forward! 
most of them are equipped with uh, their own mage and musket men. Some of them are more focused on muskets, some of them are more mages. have no chance. playing on controller so it might look a little different as far as the camera for you. This is an Imperial Mage. Yeah, you see what I mean? There's another battle where I gotta get to the right down to the last guy. It doesn't always do this, but um, yeah, some, sometimes it uh, does, and I'm not sure if it's because I, I did add a mod a while back called Fight to the End, but I deleted it. But I notice sometimes these mods can leave some residual on your gameplay. So maybe that's it. It's either that or it's because they're super powered troops and they think they, have, they got a chance or something. I got GT Carbon Body, which changes the female's uh, skin, the model, I guess, also the face. So basically, they don't all have to wear those type of clothes. You can just, if you put on a regular armor, then it kind of overrides it. So if it's a fully covering armor, then it goes back to vanilla. So you can actually have both both types on the field. And it's a fantasy game, so I wanted to make it a little more, uh, what's the word? A little more gritty. A little bit more for the degenerates, I guess. Back in my day, games seemed to, to have more of that stuff. It used to be a lot more like dark and... What's the word? 
You know, like Diablo 2 original was uh, was such a dark and gritty game. And if I was gonna have Hercules and the Amazons, I had to get those. The the Sword Sisters just don't do the trick. I definitely wanted to make it a little bit like Conan, which is our newest companion. I can just miss that son of a bitch. I can't believe they snuck by me there. I thought I had him in the bag. Fuckers. Okay, so we're gonna catch up and this should be my last battle. Finally, I got a little bit of help in one of these fights. Okay, no setup on this one, so I think we're just gonna go up to this bridge. Now I gotta quickly set something up. Somebody just got bombed. I look at the chaos starting to unfold already. Don't like to be rushed on the setups, but I wanted to get this bridge and water first. Hit him with the, the bolt of Zeus. He's joking, that's nonsense. He was enchanted by Merlin. Wizard <laughs> forged by the Amazons. None of that Zeus crap. Oh, shit, yeah, it looks like I really messed up my formations here. I don't have slow motion on my commands because I don't like to interrupt the gameplay. It's a little more distracting, I think, when you when you rewatch. I have the slow motion interrupting the battle, but it would come in handy with these setups. Now that we're across the water, we got easy pickings. See if I just. If I didn't mess up my archer formations, we would have we would have been able to do a lot of damage here. But I kind of I fucked up my formation, so basically it's basically just gotten into pure chaos at this point. It's now a Hollywood battle. Hollywood battles typically are like charge both sides charge into one big big old mess and battles actually never would have done that you wouldn't know who to slash and bash at that point well usually what would happen is you'd have two formations once one formation an example would be like let's have two white squares going head to head as soon as one square started to 
to break formation and lose parts of their square, what you do is once you know that you've lost, you run from that point. Most people don't just stand and get slaughtered. Shit, my controller's died. Should have stopped at the last battle. You control trying to get set up here. Oops, I can't turn around. There we go. Too late now though. Okay, well this is pretty much gonna end it. Just gonna send in the dogs. Anyway, if you have any suggestions or if you want any help setting up your own playthrough, just hit me up. If you have any uh, suggestions for the series, whether you want to see more or less of something, or maybe you just want to see battlefields, just let me know. There's no there's no harm in trying something new at this point. See, like, I can skip this stuff, but I sometimes I like to display the troops and show the items. And just to show what the modded uh, sandbox is like. And, like, even though I'm on an older game, which means I've lost a couple of features from Bannerlord's um, updates, I've gained so many different uh, features that I'm not too worried. But I am going to go back and play newer newer versions later. I like playing but beyond the point where I have to worry about any updates. So none of my mods or none of my... Or my game isn't going to update on me ever until I choose to do it. But that's why my game hasn't crashed. And basically all my troops are cooked into my game. I couldn't move this troop tree to another series. Actually, I could. However, there would be some edits that would have to be made. There is a few things like the culture and whether it's male or female gets reset. So you'd have a couple bugs like the troops wearing the wrong armor and stuff. You'd have to go in and change from male to female. Some of those custom tweaks don't make it through, but the the main part is like the equipping all the items. That part I can tr transfer over. I did a little test. But here's my new beast claw hammer, which has some uh, shark or not shark. It has some. Uh, lion claws in it. Just wanted to increase the range and damage, take away some of that speed, which was too quick. But anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.